So we're super excited to talk to you guys today about a new cider we're coming out with called the Wild Ferment. This cider has been a while in the making. Uh, we have been messing around growing cider specific varieties for about five years now. And it's taken us a while to figure out what works for our environment. So what, what grows well as a tree here? And then when it does produce fruit, which of those fruit really in this climate produces a really nice juice that we can make into a, a extraordinary cider. Combines two apples that we're pretty pumped about. On my left here, Yarlington Mill. It's a British variety, uh, pretty old school, and it's got really rich kind of breakthrough tannins, pretty aggressive tannins on this thing really, um, but it delivers a really full flavored uh, tannin punch to it. And then on my right is Gold Rush. That's a, uh, we just love Gold Rush around here. It, it's a high acid apple, but also high level of sugar in it. The apple comes real late. We store it for a while to let it mellow a little bit, and then we press it. We put these two together. It made a, just a super fine cider. I, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, for a first go round, we're pretty damn excited. This is 2019's harvest in a can using apples, grown just a couple hundred feet away, pressed just a couple 10 feet away, and left to ferment with the yeast from the orchard from when it was harvest. So this is our first introduction um, for Yarlington Mill that's grown on our orchard, which is a UK variety, as Paul mentioned, very cider specific. This is not an apple you're gonna wanna eat, but it lends itself beautifully to an off dry cider like this. It cuts through a little bit of sweetness that we have up front with a pretty aggressive tannin, I would say, but again, we balance it out pretty well. So after our harvest staff uh, picks our, our apples here, when we're doing a, a product like this, we'll go ahead and press it after it matures for uh, a couple months, depending on, depending on when we actually pick it. After pressing, we put the juice into IBCs and honestly just let it rest. The environment uh, has yeast uh, throughout the air and on the orchard, and that yeast will go ahead and start our fermentation process. It takes about five to six months for us to complete that whole process and with that comes a lot of earthy and funky flavors. We offset those flavors with uh, adding a little bit of apple juice up front which add a nice little pop of sweetness and then offset even that with the addition of Yarlington Mill. We decided to leave this cider unfiltered uh, to be a true snapshot of the 2019 harvest. This truly is what we would say cider in its purest form. Apples left to ferment unfiltered, packaged, with minimal intervention, ready for you to enjoy.